the data and information of a text file will going to be stored it will be in the format of ascii character stream is nothing but it is a sequence of bytes methods are what using constructor and using open member function modes are what this tabular column if it is seek g moving a get file pointer if it is seek p we are moving a put file pointer we have three types of stream in c++ that includes input stream output stream and error stream everybody welcome back to the revision class on chapter 12 that is data file handling i am rohini ts lecturer department of computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysuru in our today's session we are going to learn with this data file handling important question so when it comes to the chapter 12 so first let me see the blueprint that means what is the marks distribution of this chapter so in this chapter you are going to get one two mark question so that it will be for two marks then you are going to get one three marks question that is for 3 marks totally you are going to get two questions from this chapter and it will be for 5 marks so we'll see about the important two and three marks questions here so now we'll see the first question that is differentiate between text file and binary file so we have to write the difference between two files one is text file and another one is binary file so we'll see about the difference between these two now a text file is a file that stores the information in ascii characters how the data and information of a text file will going to be stored it will be in the format of ascii character so that is american standard code for information interchange then how will be the data and information in the binary file so in a binary file a file is a file that contains the information in the same format as it is held in the memory so how will be it is in memory that is in the format of zeros and ones so it will be in the format of zeros and ones what is the next point we have here each line of text is terminated by a special character it is considered as what end of a line or eol or delimiter so we are going to use eol or end of a line or a delimiter in order to get to know which is the end of a line then i wanted to move to the next line in a file that's why we are going to use that delimiters in the text file then but in the binary file we are not going to have any delimiters that means no delimiters are used in a binary file because uh, the arrangement of information and data will be in the format of zeros and ones so then no need of having any of the delimiter or a end of a line so that we are not going to use any delimiters in the binary file but when you consider the translation that needs to be takes place in the text file so that in the next point you can consider translation is required so why i am saying translation is required here because as we all know that this will going to store the data and information in the format of ascii character so but computer doesn't understand ascii character so it needs to be converted into zeros and ones so that translation is required but if you consider this binary file no translation will going to takes place and we don't require this translation in the binary file so these are the difference between text file as well as the binary file we'll see the next question that is name the methods of opening a file dear students when you are answering this question you must be clever enough in order to understand the question so methods are different modes are different okay so here name the methods of opening a file so when they are asking a methods so you have to write by using constructor and by using open member function but when they are asking name the modes of opening a file that will be different parameters uh, with the help of this open member function there i am going to give some modes or a parameter that you have to write for modes that will be most frequently asked question for three marks question so when it comes to the two mark question that is what name the methods of opening a file the file can be opened by making use of a constructor or can be opened with the help of this open member function there is a difference between methods and modes when they are asking methods you have to write constructor and this open function when they are asking modes then you have to write that tabular column let me explain that in a further slide we'll see the next question name the function which is belongs to the oef stream class so oef stream in the sense what output file stream so when we are dealing with output file stream then we are going to have some of the member functions which is belongs to this oef stream class so it will going to inherit put seek p tell p and write 
function. So these are the function which belongs to the OF stream. So in the same way you have to learn with the IF stream also. If they are asking F stream then all the functions all the member function of OF and uh, IF everything comes under the F stream that you have to understand here. So that put function seek P tell P and write function comes under this OF class or OF stream class. Next question differentiate between IF stream and OF stream. So first you have to understand what is IF stream and what is OF stream here. So as much as the uh, number of differences are possible you have to write that. We will see the difference between this IF stream and OF stream. So this IF stream as the name indicates IF that is input file stream it will going to support input operations. So what are kind of operation it will support? It will support input operation when it comes to the OF stream. So it will going to support output operation. Take this as a one point and next what we have. So it contains open member function with default input mode. So it will going to have a open member function by default. When it comes to this OF stream what it is? So it contains open with default output mode. So you can see the difference here. So it has both contains open member function as a default member function. But here it has a default input mode. It has default output mode. Then it will going to inherit get function, get line function, read functions, g function and tell g function. Here also you can expect one more question right. What are the member function which belongs to this IF stream class. So for that also we can get an answer here only. It will going to inherit get function, get line, read, seek g and it also going to have a function called tell g. Then what about this? It will going to inherit. So in the previous question we have learned this. So it will going to inherit put seek p, tell p as well as the write functions from this OF stream. This is the difference between this IF stream and OF stream. We will see the next question. What are input stream and output stream? They are asking you the definition. What do you mean by input stream and what do you mean by output stream? What do you mean by input stream then? So the stream that supplies the data to the program is called input stream. So we are giving some data and information to the program. That stream will be considered as what? Input stream. So what if I am getting the data and information from the program? That is output stream here. So that the stream that receives the data from the program is called output stream. This is the definition of input stream as well as the output stream. We will see the next question that is question number 6. Differentiate between put and get function with reference to binary files. So when you are getting this kind of question you can make a two column or else you can write a complete note regarding this put as well as the get. But you have to be very conscious what must be the pointers that you are going to write should match with the opposite one. For example if you are writing the first point of the put should be related to the get pointer. So it should not be different. So you have to make a differentiation based on that uh, scenario or else you can make two columns then you can write the difference of both put as well as the get function. So when it comes to the put function we are going to use this put member function which is belongs to the class OF stream. Member function called get belongs to which class? So it belongs to the class called IF stream. What is the first difference? It belongs to the class IF stream and this put belongs to the class OF stream. And then it writes a single character to the associated stream. It writes a single character to the associated stream. So what is the operation it is doing? It is doing write operation. But when it comes to the get one that will going to read a single character from the associated stream. What operation it is performing? Read. So there it is write. Next you have to write the syntax of this put as well as the get. So in order to write the put function we are going to have this of stream object dot put of ch. So here ch is nothing but character variable. This object is associated with of stream class. Then we are accessing a member function called put of character. In the same way if stream object dot get of ch. So we are using a member function get of a object called if stream object. So this is the second difference or a third difference between this get and put. So what is the first difference? It belongs to if stream that put belongs to of stream. It reads a single character that writes a single character. So next we have to write a syntax along with one example for each. So in this example we are going to have one variable called a of a data type character and uh, 
we have a OF stream f out that is the object of a OF stream class then we are sending this file name as a parameter and we are accessing this member function called put with the help of this OF stream class object in the same way for the input called get member function this is the difference you have to write for this we'll see the next question with respect to three marks question if you see this question this is most frequently and mandatory and surely are going to get this question either for two or three marks question most of the time it will be asked only for three marks we'll see what is this question mention and explain any three modes of opening a file in c++ already i told you that there is a difference between methods and modes methods are what using constructor and using open member function modes are what this tabular column out of this you can pick any three and you need to explain each so here you have to take a method that means member functions are derived from or defined outside the class definition that's why we are using scope resolution operator here all these belongs to input output stream class and you have to write its meaning along with you have to mention to which stream it belongs to whether it is belongs to if stream of stream or f stream that means it has both if and of stream that you what you can see ate so mainly it will be used for the updation so this uh, app that is appending appending to the end of a file at opening time then in that is opening a file for reading purpose and we have out that is opening a file for writing purpose and we have ate that open a file for updating and move the file pointer to the end of a file then trunk on opening delete the content of a file next we have a no create turn down opening if the file does not exist and we have no replace turn down opening if the file already exists then we have a binary to open a binary file so we have text file and uh, binary file in order to open a binary file we have to use a mode called binary so these are all the parameter we are using all these as a modes in order to open a file so all these will going to associated with open member function within that we have to specify the parameter so that parameters are nothing but these modes so out of this you can learn any file along with its explanation and uh, the stream it belongs to with one or two example this is how we are supposed to learn for this question and it is very very important question surely you can expect in your examination we'll see the next question which is of three mark questions so write the functions of seek g function seek p function and tell g function so already we know about all these functions if it is related to p that will going to handle a put pointer if it is related to g that is related to get pointer so you have to keep it in mind then you have to answer these kind of question what is the first question that i have here seek g so what is the operation it will going to perform or what is its function so it moves get pointer to a specific location so you have to understand here i have g so that it will move the get pointer to the specific location next what i have here seek p then it moves the put file pointer to a specific location so what it indicates seek g we are moving a file pointer if it is seek g moving a get file pointer if it is seek p we are moving a put file pointer then what about this tell g it is also consist of g what it mean then it returns the current position of a get pointer what if it is tell p then it will returns the current position of a put pointer seek in the sense we are moving and tell in the sense i am asking tell me what is the current position of this get pointer it is too easy in order to remember so if you learn all these function with its function then it will be easy for you in order to get good marks we'll see the next question give the functions of the following what it includes we have put and we have uof that is end of file and also we have read function what this put function will going to do so this put member function belongs to the class of stream it belongs to the class called of stream and write a single character to the associated stream it write a single character to the associated stream then what about this end of file it is a member function of a ios class input output stream class and it will going to returns a non zero value non zero in the sense what it will returns true when the file pointer is at the end of a file so it will return non zero value if the end of file condition is encountered while reading so otherwise it will going to return zero or false for example if i am somewhere else 
in my file at that time you consider it is my pointer so if i am using this end of file at that time it return false why because i am not at the end of a file but if i am here then if at that time if i am using this eof function then it will going to return true why because i am at the end of a file that is the use of this eof member function next we have a read already we know the difference between read write get put right so when it comes to the read member function it belongs to the class if stream and which is used to record or which is used to read the binary data from a file it will going to reads a binary data from a file that is the use of having this put member function end of file member function as well as the read member function we'll see the next question that is what is stream briefly explain any one stream class so what is stream then so stream is nothing but it is a sequence of bytes it is a sequence of byte or a collection of bytes which is a movement of a data from one end to another end so that is nothing but it is a flow of data so how many kinds of stream we have so we have three types of stream in c++ that includes input stream output stream and error stream so here you can write the definition along with a diagram you can explain any one of a stream class then also you can write a of stream that is what the output stream then you can write a member function which is associated with this of stream as well as the input stream called if stream this is how you are supposed to answer i hope i covered most of the important question from this chapter so learn the difference between text file and uh, binary file and uh, methods of opening a file modes of opening a file and function of all that lg tlp seek gcp put and get read write if you learn all those functions of functions then that will surely going to help you in order to get 5 marks from this chapter i hope you all understood let me meet you in the next session with a revision of further chapters until that keep learning keep on growing thank you